No. Are you telling me what to do? I'm not telling you what to do. I'm gonna make you do what I want you to do. There was this guy. I think his name was Aaron. He wouldn't shut up. He talked and complained all the fucking time. Do you know what I told him? Shut the fuck up. Did he? Fuck no. So you know what I did? I took out a pair of pliers, pulled out his tongue, and cut it off with a knife. And then I fed it to him. I think he killed himself sometime after that. I'm not really sure. Just because you're Bob's kid doesn't mean I'm gonna tolerate any of your fucking shit. You sound like a fucking hypocrite. You go to college. Start acting like an adult. What kind of music you like? Um, oldies? Get the fuck out of here. No, I swear to God. Hey, didn't I just tell you to stop swearing? But I want you. To... So are you Italian, Irish? No. So what are you then? American. Uh huh. Let's get one thing straight. I'm not the fucking mob. What I do has nothing to do with being Italian, Irish, or any other nationality. Matter of fact, I don't even like what they do. I'm a businessman. They take opportunities away from me to accumulate money. I respect them. I sure have to. But that does not mean I represent them or even like them. You want to see the real mafia? Go to the fucking movies. People work for me, and I pay them for it. It's that simple. Can I? You smoke? Not yet. Good. Don't start. Shit's gonna kill you. But Shut up and listen. This is how it's gonna go. I'm gonna give you an envelope. It's gonna have instructions inside. You are to follow them to a T. Do not talk to anybody about this. And my boy, if you mess this up, I'll mess you up. These are the rules. You got it? I guess so. Wrong answer. Let's try it again. Are we clear? Yes. Good. In this business, there are no maybes. It's either yes or no. You got it? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, Mr. Green. Good. I'll contact you. You have my number? I even have your social security number, so don't worry about it. Okay. We'll meet in this park every time, and I'll have your money for you. You have any questions? No, I guess not. I mean, no, Mr. Green. Good. Well, here's your first assignment. I'll be in contact. Oh, and by the way, next time, no more fucking cursing. You got it? What? Hey, it's me. Who? Julia from bio class. Oh, okay. Do you live around here? Sorry, what? <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, yeah. What were you saying? Do you live around here? Here? Yeah. No. So what are you doing over here? I'm just walking. 
walking around. Walking. Just walking. Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, it's it's just the heat, really. Oh, do you want me to get you some cold water or something? I'm good. But... No, you're not. Come on, I'm gonna get you some water. Thanks. I really needed that. My pleasure. So, what brings you to my neighborhood? I told you, I was walking. Walking? Yeah, right. Walking in New York City, in this heat, for no specific reason. Okay, I, I visited a friend who lives close by. Really? Who is it? You know, it's just some old high school buddy. Uh-huh. Does he go to college? Uh, yeah. Ours? No, he's going to some school downtown, but I'm not sure which one. Cool. So how's class going for you? Uh, pretty good. Uh, I actually got a B plus on my last bio test. How about you? Oh, I got an A. It was really simple. Right. Uh, so what are you up to now? Nothing much. Just walking. Okay. I'm kidding. How many BTUs? How do you determine? Look, I have to go to the store to get some supplies for my art class. You wanna come? Yeah, sure. Then you sent me here to go to college. Wow, your father's really strict. I hate him. Don't say that. I'm pretty sure he hates me too. You know, he always says these bad things to me and then I drop a cup of ice on the couch and he beats the living shit out of me. Are you serious? Of course. He's, he's a mean son of a bitch. But you're such a nice guy. I'm not. You just don't know me all that well, you know? I'm really a bad person. No, you're not. Come on, don't let him get to you. I'm trying, but I... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking about myself all the time. What about you? <laughs> well, I get along with my parents just enough so that I can stand it. You know, but they get really annoying. Yeah, most of them are like that. Probably. But come on. You know, you're a really good guy. And I'm sure your father loves you and he's really proud of you. He just doesn't know how to show it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Are you taking the six train? Yeah, you? I gotta go all the way to Queens. That far? It's not that far. If you say so. Uh, listen, thanks for the water. Uh, and thanks for taking me to the store. I'm sure it was really boring for you. It was fun. <laughs> Are you doing anything this weekend? Uh, not yet. Wait, do I have your number? No, I don't Hold on a second. Okay, go. Uh, 718-556. Nine five eight zero, and it's Glenn, right? Excuse me. <laughs> Just kidding. It's oh. a joke, okay? Okay. Um, I'll text you, all right? Okay. Good night. Okay. Good night. <laughs>
Fruity pie? No thanks. Where are we going? My place. Did you bring it? No, of course not. I left it in the supper. What the hell do you think? I think you're being rude. But I offered you a fruity pie. I'm just messing with you. Cozy, do you like Disney? Yeah, yeah, yes I do. Why, you don't like it? Uh, no, not really, you know, I, uh, I used to watch them when I was a little kid, but other than that, I think it's for children and faggots. So you're calling me a child, right? Because I'm not a faggot. Right, uh, hey, you have a soda or something? No, uh, I can get you some orange juice. Fine. Just wait there and I'll, I'll go get, grab your orange juice. So, um, why Disney? I don't know, I guess like most people I watched it as a child and just never stopped watching it. But, it's for children. And adults. Look at this. Fun for the whole family. Yeah, but they just write that on there so people actually buy that stuff. Look, let's... Let's not talk about this. Let's just get down to business. No! I want to talk about this. I want to know what's so goddamn special about Disney. It's just full of cliches and some corny lines. Yeah, most of them do have a happy ending. They all do. I totally agree with you. And and here's the thing. People, especially people like us, we need that from time to time. I certainly don't need it. And I'm sure you're living a very happy, fulfilling life, correct? Well... Well, are you? Well, no, but, you know, let's just... You know, let's you just... know I had a really, really bad day yesterday. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, you know what I did? I don't know. You, uh... Drank a beer and played with yourself? Close. I came home and I watched a Disney movie. Yeah, I know they're corny and filled with cliches, but they make me happy. They somehow lift me up when I'm down. No, they're not as simple as you might think. There's certain messages, there's wisdom in Disney. Look at this one. No, it's okay, I believe you. Take it, really. Just, just shut up and watch it. You'll see what I mean. Now, let's get down to business. Sure. Um...